That's the cat. These steers, and there might be a couple heifers anyways, they were what I was keeping for beef. Look down there. Happy birthday to you. That's the cat. What are we going to do, Stetson? Huh? What are we going to do? Well, y'all, as of today, we have a bottle baby. Not something we like, but something that usually happens at some point. Need me to help you? Two ways. Uh, wow. Wow, a big old calf. Yeah. You want to help Daddy feed it? Okay. Go help Daddy. Okay. Uh, here it is. I will help you with the calf. Okay. Bring bottle. Are you a big old boy? He's a little boy. Okay. <laughs> go. Go sleep. <laughs> go sleep. Okay. He'll lay down in a minute when down. he's ready. Tell him good night. Oh, good night. <laughs> lay down. Setson, he'll lay down in a minute. Bye, bye, baby. Bye, bye. We see you tomorrow, okay? We see you tomorrow. Well, good Monday morning to y'all. It has been quite the Monday. Um, but yeah, you just seen my little footage and we officially have our first bottle calf of the season. Pray it's our only one. Um, definitely not situations that we like, but they are situations that happen every year, <laughs> no matter how hard you try not to have it. It's happened every year that we've had cattle. So, um, anyways, we're not quite sure what's going on. Um, when it was born, it seemed fine. And then it just kind of started to decline from there. It was born on a pretty cold night. But, you know, calves are born on cold nights all the time. So, we're not quite sure. Um, its eyes are kind of cloudy. Um, we're not sure what's causing that. It eats really well. Um, but Dakota's not sure if it can see. We know it did get its colostrum, so that's good. But we're just not sure what's going on with it. Something's not right, but we're trying to figure it out. So I am at the vet's office now, getting ready to go in and talk with them about it and see what we need to do. Um, so see what they recommend. So I'll let you know. Okay. So, I'm out of the vet's office, obviously. Wait for my mama order, but anyways. Um, so, he said it sounded like a thing called IBR. Uh, it's an infectious bovine rhino something. But he says it happens in, ut in utero. Um, and really the only prevention for it is vaccinations which we do vaccinate our cattle, our mama cows. Um, but when I was talking to Dakota, he doesn't think that we do this one specific one that would have the vaccine for that in it, but we're gonna start this year. So um, I think we normally do like a five way, but there's a seven way. So that's what we'll start giving this year to help prevent that in the future. Um, he gave me something for the eye IBR. I keep wanting to call it IBF. But anyways, the IBR. Um, he gave us um, a vaccine or whatever it is needed for that. And then he also gave vitamin A. Um, which that's what I kind of thought. Um, he said just to give it as precautionary. That can cause the symptoms that it's having also. So, hopefully we will get him on the bend. I feel 
hopeful at this point because he's eating good and everything. So we'll see. Here, come on. Stand up. Stand up. Yeah, okay. Daddy gets home, we'll get some medicine in you. Oh, you are heavy. Oh. Well, y'all, I just went and tried to feed the calf, but I can't get it to stand up, and <laughs> I tried my darndest to get it stood up, but. I just can't, I can't get it up. So I fed it some laying down, but he didn't drink that much, only about a pint. Um, but she made us not be hungry, but I'm um, hoping Dakota gets home soon from work so we can get it. its medicine. But I was feeling good this morning, but now after seeing him, I don't know. at the other farm but this is a girl that we used to have at our house so she got bred with our cows but most of the other cows are not bred at the same time but <laughs> it's a bull and Dakota's gonna try to ban it and tag it and this is always one of the most dangerous parts that's nice she's leaving us a present Dakota's really good at this but Uh, we are starting to see some improvement in the calf so it's wonderful 
wonderful, wonderful. Um, I think it has this huge bump in the road here, but um, yeah, he is like actually wanting his bottle, which he's ate decent the whole time. Like we normally feed our calves in the beginning um, three times a day. And he was eating pretty good for that morning bottle and the evening bottle, but the midday bottle he wasn't really interested in. Um, but now he just drank the whole thing. <laughs> Sucked or dry. So that's awesome. And he's like walking around and kind of getting curious and stuff. So it's just really exciting to see. Although we still say cautious because you just never know. So, anyways, for right now, I'm hopeful. What are we doing? Hmm? What's what waves? I'm going to see that light. They're gone in a minute. Shoot. Oh, there was one too. Let me just wait. Oh my goodness. They'll come back out. Hey, Priscilla. Hey, what'd you get? I got some worms. You got some worms? You gonna go fishing with those worms? No. Wait, but I got one. Oh. <laughs> wow. All right, let's go. Well, good morning, birthday boy. Good morning, birthday boy. What, well, Mom? What'd you do? I hear my third. Oh, you got dirt on your boots. Well, good morning, y'all. <clears throat> Today is Stetson's third birthday. And to celebrate, right now, we are um, getting up some calves that Dakota is going to take. Not to the market, to a local guy that we sell our calves to. So, he does sales on Wednesdays. So, that's what Dakota's doing today. Um, Mom, Mom. Yeah. What's Daddy going. Daddy's getting the tractor. <laughs> but one of the realities of farming is, uh, hold on baby, these, I don't know how many there are, two, three, four, four maybe? Um, <laughs> these steers, and there might be a couple heifers anyways, they were what I was keeping for beef. Um, I'm still, I have bargained with Dakota to keep a couple, <clears throat> but these are going to go to the market. Um, well not the market, but you know, um, I had wanted to keep them for beef. I wanted to grow the beef business this year, but there is so many uncertain things going on right now, especially in farming and beef prices are up right now, like really good. So... We talked about it and made the decision that we would sell these right now because that's looking like the better option right now. Breaks my heart not being able to offer more beef to our community, but at the same time, like we have to make money somehow. And right now, this is the best way to do that. Um, there's so much more money and time and effort involved in finishing a beef and you know everything's so expensive as it is and processing went up feeds went up so right now that's what we're doing morning ladies Come on! Woo! I got one good girl. <laughs> Come on, ladies! She's like, what you got in that bucket, girl? <laughs> Come on! Okay. All right. We're coming now. We're coming now. There's my girls there.
Yummy. <laughs> Calves always bringing up the rear. We have three of them on the trailer, ready to go. I wish I could have videoed like the intense moment stuff, but there's no way to do it because <laughs> we're always both intense in the moment, so. Wow. Well, for some reason, Dakota's <laughs> making me drive the truck and trailer out. Usually I do the tractor. So this is new. Woohoo, well, made it safely. <laughs> Which, usually I can drive pretty good pulling it somewhere, but don't ask me to back it. I told Dakota that is one thing I need to learn this year is how to back this trailer, truck and trailer. Makes me nervous. <laughs> Hey y'all, so back in the kitchen. <laughs> um, I'm not always gonna add a recipe with our video, but just the rabbit dumpling, you know, I was making it, so I thought I would share it, and that's kinda like this. Um, Dakota has been begging me to make pickled eggs. Um, he loves pickled eggs, Stetson loves pickled eggs. I'm not the biggest fan, but I enjoy making them. And, of course, just like in my other recipe, this is my great-grandmother's recipe. Which I've kind of adapt because, like, they taste just like hers. But she could never give you a real recipe of anything. She would just say, well, you add a little bit of this. And you put some of this in there. And then you add this. <laughs> which... You know, it's kind of sad because it's like, we were always like, no, we want to make it, but we can't because you don't know the ingredients. Like, I've always wanted to make one of her stack cakes, but <sighs> there was no recipe or anything like that. So, anyways, these taste like hers, but I had to like look up several recipes and then just kind of adapt it as I went and adjust and add and do everything. So... Um, I have my eggs in, I just spilled that everywhere. Hold on. All right, now that that's cleaned up, I totally underestimated how much water was in this, but I have a cold water bath on my eggs. I just boiled them and I will tell you, cause we have farm fresh eggs. We don't buy eggs from the store. We do have chickens and Farm fresh eggs are nearly impossible to boil just like regularly in a pot of water. But I use my quick cooker, which is like I said before, is the same thing as the Instant Pot. I use that and they come out perfect every time. Like, I will not boil eggs any other way. So... I just have these eggs here. Like I said, they're already boiled. I don't know what happened with that one. Um, something with the egg. Anyways, I'm going to peel them. And then, I think when I spilled the water, I was also getting ready to say, I do use good old store-bought sliced beets. We don't grow beets. Um, and I certainly don't can beets. So, this is what I get. 
My Nana has tried a couple different brand names of Beats, but I think she likes the Food City brand, but we really like just the Great Value brand. Um, sometimes the beet juice does taste different. So I think I'm getting off on a tangent here. But anyways, so I'm going to peel my eggs. Back on. I'm going to peel my eggs. And then while I'm kind of doing that in the process, I'm going to add the juice from these two cans into a pot. And I'll show you this process. I'm just going to explain it and then I'm just going to video it. So I'm going to pour the juice of these two cans into a pot. And I'm going to add a cup of sugar. And how I found, like the recipe that I had found, I think it called for a cup of sugar and a cup of vinegar. But the kettle likes them a little bit more tangy. So I usually, and this is my great grandmother and me, I don't know exactly because I kind of do it to taste. But I probably end up adding about a cup and a half, quarter to a half, depending, um, of vinegar. And then you stir all that together, get it almost boiling, not quite. Then turn off the heat. And then um, I let it cool down a little bit. But then I place my eggs in the jar and then just pour the beet juice mixture Oh, I forgot an important tip. Um, the beets that are in here. So like, you know, you're just pouring the juice out. So you're still going to have beets in here. When you have your jar that you're going to put your eggs in, you put your eggs, all your peeled eggs in, and then you take some of these beets. You won't, don't use both cans because it'll make it too full. I'll show you. But um, take your beets and put them on top of the eggs. So that way, when you pour your juice in, the eggs will stay submerged all in the yummy liquid. So, all right, I've talked enough, but that's what I'm going to do. I'll video the process, but I just wanted to tell you about it first. So, let's go. Alright, so this is what I was talking about. So I have my eggs down here at the bottom and then I put my beets on top. I probably have too many. Um, I'll have to take some out, but I'm trying try not to be wasteful. So I try to use as much as I can. But And for some odd reason, Stetson really likes pickled beets. So he usually eats these. Look at this baby. <laughs> Thankfully, he can pretty much stand on his own. He's on his bottle. <laughs> he can stand on his own and he's walking around. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have one yet. In a little bit. <laughs> Short. Hey, baby. Yeah, watch out, babe. He is ready and awaiting. Come here. Hey. Hey. <laughs> he likes you, Stetson. Hey. He likes you. Walk out here, Stetson. Walk in here. Walk in there. Say, ow. <laughs> Here. See, he likes you. He's following you. He's you want to hold the bottle? You want to hold his bottle? Okay. Okay, go over there and hold it. Got hold it with that. two hands. <laughs> Good job.
water situation. We have gotten a lot of rain this week, um, and specifically today. So everything's kind of flooding a little bit. Um, we're under a flash flood advisory until like 1 p.m. tomorrow. It's now Thursday. Um, so yeah, we're checking to make sure fences are still good, where there's high water, and stopping our pipes um, that go into our ponds and stuff, and checking some new calves. So we've had two. I think we had one yesterday and then one today. So babies everywhere and rain everywhere. And then we've got to go up to our other farm and check our calf lot that we keep our beef or heifers that we're weaning. Um, it often gets flooded because the creek runs right through it. He's checking to make sure the fence is good. Um, the creek runs right through it so it gets flooded quite often but we're going to go check and make sure everybody's okay. What'd you say? I'm out of breath. <laughs> to this. I do like having it a big <laughs> pond of water for the cows, but yeah, this is, there's so much water and there's more coming. <laughs> so unfortunately, we weren't able to fix it right then. We had to come back and Dakota is getting a saw and a steel post because he learned that the tree was being used as a post. Boy knows how to drink a bottle now. Get up all by himself. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing up there? Are you keeping an eye on the calf? Are you keeping an eye on him? <laughs> Okay, you be a babysitter, okay? You keep an eye on him. Yeah, good Sunday morning, everybody. I think it's February 27th or 28th. Just out trying to get everything fed. 
this morning. Let's see if we got any new cans, but I don't think any do anytime soon or for the next week. Stay here while I do this for the real miracle. Some of the calves have been born. About all of them's white face. Or all of them's heifers, too. So it's three, five, there's one up here. Six, and then this one was red. It's a heifer, too. about it for here going up the road and feeding the rest yeah they finally decided to show up they're scattered they're going try to kick this bell down in there and not send it through the barn that'd be nice oh yeah a little bit. Oh, one more. 